Hello everyone, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. In this video, I will cover what is a grip command and how we can use it with different options. So grip command stands for Global Regular Expression Print. It is used to filter the contents of your file. So basically, it searches for a word and displays the contents according to the options that you have used. Basic syntax of using grip is you have to mention the word grip, then whatever your search word is and the file name. Grip is mostly used with piping. So currently I have created a simple text file with uh, some information about Linux. So, so if I just open the file, you can see there are certain statements uh, related to Linux. Now, if we want to perform a search for, uh, let's say, word Linux in this file. So, with the help of piping, we have to mention first cat command, then the piping, and then grip, and your word, whatever the search word is. So, this will search all the lines containing word Linux in the mentioned file. So, currently, I have mentioned the file as demo file. Now the same command, if you want to use it without piping, then you can just mention grip and uh, whatever your word is and then the file name. So if you compare the output, both the output are same. There are different options that we can use with the grip command. So first of all, we must uh, search for what exactly the grip command is. So, uh, if you observe here, it is uh, mentioned in the description also that uh, grep command is used for searching and here is a list of different options that we can try with the grep command. I will try some of the options uh, or you can say that the most popularly used options. Now, if I use the option I, uh, you have to mention the word, let's say I will search Linux only in the file. So what exactly this option does is it will search your word case insensitively. So let's see the output. So if you compare the previous output and this uh, output, in this the, we are getting a extra Linux word in which uh, all the letters are in uppercase. So this I option you can use if you want to search the word case insensitively. Now if we use uh, the option that is hyphen V then it will display the lines not matching that specific word. So if you observe the output, three lines have been uh, displayed. So first is Linux. Right now it is not searching case insensitively. So the second line and this uh, third line, all these three lines doesn't contain the word Linux. Next option is uh, hyphen C. This option will display the count of lines that contain the word Linux. So there are three lines basically which contain this word. So if you observe the file here, uh, there are three lines. This is the first line, this is the second line and this is the third line. So hyphen C will give you the exact count. Currently the grep command by default it is displaying the entire line which contains your matching word. But uh, if we want to get only the matching word, then we can use a hyphen O option here. So it is just going to display the matched word. In addition to the match line, if we want uh, the line number, that also we can get uh, with the help of hyphen N option. So right now, the second line so on the left side there are the line numbers so second line is having a linux word the fourth line and the sixth line the next three options are quite interesting means uh, if we want to print the number of lines before and after the search line then we can use uh, the hyphen a b or c option so i'll just first clear this now if i use let's say hyphen a uh, your word and uh, let's say the file name. 
Oh, I forgot to mention the length. Uh, so basically these three options like A, B and C come with a length argument. So uh, right here you have to mention uh, the length. Right now I am mentioning one. So what does this mean? Uh, it means that it will display whatever your searched line or searched word is and the next line after that search. So if you see. Uh, we have searched the word as Linux. So this is the line uh, with the searched word and one line after that. Similarly, this is the searched line and one line after that. And I guess this is the last line. So we are not getting any line after this. So similarly, if I mention your uh, B1, we will get the search line plus a previous line. So this is the previous uh, word basically. Uh, similarly, this is the search line and a previous, this is the search line and this is the previous line. And if we use the last option that is C1, it is going to display both. That is previous as well as the next uh, with the matching line. So that's it for the grep command. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.